Hi, Dr. Biology here. This is a very quick video about the structure of your A-level biology exam. So the first thing I'm going to talk about before I talk about the different papers are the assessment objectives. Now, the assessment objectives are really important. They're the same for all A-level biology specs. Um, and they're split into AO1, AO2 and AO3. And you're going to be examined on different aspects or uh, different proportions of these uh, assessment objectives in, in each paper. And I'll discuss that in a minute. So the first thing I want to look at is AO1. So AO1 is pretty much demonstrating your knowledge and understanding of scientific ideas, processes, techniques and procedures. So pretty much that is really your recall. So it's a recall of content, your really good use of biological terms, um, being able to describe the processes, for example, of protein synthesis, translation, transcription, um, techniques and procedures. So looking at different required practicals, for example. AO2 is applying your knowledge and understanding of scientific ideas. So that's very much going to be uh, they're going to give you data, they're going to give you information, whether it be in graphical or data form, and they want you to then use that data or use that information um, to come up with your answers. So it says in a theoretical context, so in other words, they give you the information, practicals, so any practical, um, required practical aspects or even things you've never seen before. Uh, handling quant qualitative data, so trying to describe and explain something, and then handling quantitative data, so that might be calculating percentage changes or understanding, um, for example, standard deviation, for example. So AO3, this is analyse, interpret and evaluate scientific information. So you're really looking at the analysis stage um, explaining the data, evaluating, looking at the pros and cons of ideas and evidence, including in relation to issues to making judgments and reaching conclusions or develop and refine practical design and procedures. Mm. So let's look at the structure. So, oh, before we look at the structure, don't forget, that's why I put this, this slide in. 10% um, of your overall assessment of A-level biology will contain mathematical skills equivalent to level two or above. So that's like GCSE. So when it says or above, that's kind of your understanding of standard deviation, um, being able to do indexes of biodiversity, uh, being able to analyse and interpret statistical information. But the most kind of uh, A-level biology mathematical skills um, standard form, significant figures, uh, calculating percentage changes, and please do check out my playlist on A-level uh, math skills. Um, it might also be interpreting uh, graph information as well. And then at least 15% at least will assess your knowledge, skills and understanding in relation to the practical work. So whether that be required practicals or uh, practicals related to those types of work. So you need to have a good understanding of working scientifically. Right, paper one. Let's go up here. So paper one. What is assessed? Well, paper one is assessed on your biological molecules, the cells, organisms exchange substances within their environment. So that includes gas exchange, mass transport, and then genetic information, variation in relationships between organisms. It is a two hour exam, 91 marks. It's worth 35% of the A level and you get 76 marks, a mixture of short and long answer questions and the 15 marks extended response questions are at the end of paper one. And to be honest, since it's 15 marks, I probably would start with those questions if I were you. Um, What's interesting to note, paper one, you can see the vast majority of A are AO1. OK, so just to remind you, AO1, description, recall of processes, and then AO2, so um, analysing and interpreting data, and then AO3 is a bit smaller, um, evaluating information. Paper two. 
So paper two includes energy transfers, organisms respond to changes in the internal and external environments, genetics, populations, that's inheritance, evolution and ecosystems, and the good old control of gene expression, and don't forget gene technology in that aspect. But what you'll notice here with paper two is, is that suddenly there's a, a much smaller amount of AO1 and a lot of AO2. Now, what that means to you in the exam is there'll be lots of information, lots of stems of questions to read, lots of data. You only have the same time to do it in as well. It's two hours, it's 91 marks, um, 76 marks, again, short and long answer. 15 marks is a comprehension question. So comprehension meaning that, again, they give you lots of information and data to look at. Now, a little tip from me, remember, you can write on the exam question, okay? On the exam paper itself, write all you want. Write notes, draw lines on your graphs, um, little reminders, because the examiner is only going to see your answer. They're not going to see all the question. They'll just see your answer. So it's, it's fine to be writing lots of little notes to yourself um, whilst you do the questions. A um, bit more on exam technique, though, on another video. Paper three. It is everything, basically. So it's known as synoptic. So synoptic means you can expect anything from uh, your work in year 12 and year 13. Uh, again, it's written exam, two hours, 78 marks. So slightly less, 30% of A-level. But I would probably say paper three is the make or break. Uh, one in terms of your grade because again you've got structured questions 38 marks including practical techniques 15 marks critical analysis of given experimental data so a lot of AO3 and AO2 not so much AO1 um, and then the final one is one essay from a choice of two titles and I really hope your teachers have spent time doing the essay with you the skills of the essays um, write about four, at least four topic areas, um, both from AS and A-level biology, and 25 marks are there for the taking. So just to compare, if you look at paper one, there's a lot more AO1, okay, whereas in paper two, there's a big emphasis on AO2, and then paper three, it's a mix of them all. So there we go. So that's the makeup of your exams in A-level biology. Um, I will shortly be doing an exam technique uh, video for A-level biology, so hopefully you'll find that useful. I'll see you soon.